So far you have uh, seen the uh, phenomena of self induction and the mutual induction and now you will uh, see the relation between the mutual inductance and the self inductance of the two coils. <coughs> Let this is a primary coil. This L equal to L1. This is equal to now mu naught n square a upon L. This is now a primary. This is now like this. This is now primary. It has the number of turns that is equal to L1. And its length is L. Similarly, self inductance of a second solenoid. This L2 equal to mu naught. N2 square A upon L. This we have the secondary. This is now length is the same of both the coils. This is now secondary coil. <coughs> and now mutual interface of these two solenoids. Mutual inductance of two solenoids. This L equal to mu naught L one L two E upon L. So now. This is equation number 1, this is now equation number 2, this is now equation number 3. <coughs> From equation 1, L1 equal to L1 L upon mu naught a square root from equation 2 n2 equal to l2 l upon mu naught a this is now square root now then put the value of this n1 n2 in this equation 3 
upon mu naught d. So this m will be equal to e square root of l1 l2. So now you can have that this uh, mutual inductance is equal to the geometric mean. This is the geometric mean of the uh, self inductance. <coughs> the mutual inductance is the geometric mean geometric mean So you can have that if this L1 and L2 both, uh, if, uh, the, we are having the three quantities M, L1 and L2. So uh, either of the two quantities are known, then the third can be calculated. And also you see uh, that this M is equal to the square root of the product of mutual inductances of the two coils. So this is the relation between the self-inductance and the mutual inductance. So thank you very much.